If you have ever dreamed of running your own online business and joining the ranks of successful entrepreneurs, you're in the right place. Together, let's unravel the secrets of registering as a seller on Amazon and unleashing your potential in the digital marketplace. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to show you how to register on Amazon step by step. Our highlight feature of the day is SellerApp's product research feature. Here you can easily discover winning products on Amazon with the best pre-filtered metrics. These smart filters allow you to automatically and instantly uncover the products that check off the major points in your Amazon product research checklist. For our top 3 channel subscribers, we have a free 6 months seller app subscription plan worth of $450. Exciting, isn't it? Find the link to the seller app product research feature in the comment section below. Also stay tuned to this video to know more about this powerful feature. Here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Let's get started. Selling on Amazon has never been easier thanks to Seller Central. This online platform allows you to take care of everything you need to start, manage and expand your Amazon business. You can easily manage your product listings, inventory, payments, order fulfillment, pricing, advertising and more from one central location. Plus, you don't even need to have your own website or worry about processing returns. Amazon takes care of that for you. With Seller Central, you have everything you need to jumpstart and grow your online business. Once you have figured out what you plan on selling on Amazon, you need to go through the Amazon seller registration process, which is really quite easy. Just follow these simple steps. First, head over to Amazon.com. This is where all the magic happens. Secondly, once you are there, click on the pricing tab, but hold on a second before you hit that sign up button. Let's take a quick look at Amazon selling plans first. Click on the compare selling plans option under the pricing tab. This will take you to a page where you can compare the individual and professional seller accounts side by side. Oh, and here's a handy tip. If you click on the orange sign up button right away, you'll be taken straight to the registration page for a professional seller account. On the other hand, if you click on the see pricing link, you can explore the differences between the individual and the professional accounts and make your choice accordingly. Next, choose between an individual or professional seller account. Now, Amazon Seller Central offers two plans. There is an individual selling plan and the professional selling plan. Let's take a closer look at each one. First up is individual selling plan which is perfect if you are just starting out or having low sales volume. You can sell your products on Amazon without having to worry about any subscription fees or upfront costs. Instead, you will be just charged $0.99 per item sold. It's an affordable and convenient way to get started with selling on Amazon. Though keep in mind that if you choose the individual plan, your products will not be eligible for the buy box and won't have the ability to advertise your products on Amazon. Now, if you have an established business and are looking to sell on Amazon, then the professional selling plan is the way to go. This plan comes with additional features like bulk upload, inventory control, management features, reporting, Amazon advertising, and the Amazon API for connecting with third-party apps. Plus, you get access to 10 bonus product categories that aren't available with the individual plan. The professional plan changes a fixed monthly fee of $39.99, so you don't have to worry about any variable fees based on the number of sales. Next, enter your email and select create a new account. Once you have picked the seller plan that suits you best, a new window will pop up in the window. Uh, you'll be asked to enter your email address and choose a password for your awesome seller account. 
you get to decide on the password so make it something secure and easy to remember once you have filled in the required details simply hit the next button now get ready for the next screen your amazon wants to make sure it's really you they'll send a verification code to the email address you provided don't worry it's just a quick security step to verify your email once you receive the code go ahead and enter it in the designated box once you enter the correct code you'll be automatically taken to the next screen where amazon has some important information for you to complete your registration smoothly here's what you will need a valid government issued id or password a recent bank account or credit card statement a credit card that can be charged a mobile phone gather these required documents and make sure you have all the necessary information handy fifth is choose your business location and business type so in this step of the amazon seller registration process they'll ask you for some important information your business location now this refers to the country where your business is physically located it's crucial to provide accurate information because amazon will be verifying it later so double check and ensure you select the correct country where your business operates your business type here you get to choose the category that best describes your business entity you will have a few options to select from including state owned business publicly owned business privately owned business charity and none i am an individual so if you haven't formed a formal business just yet no worries simply choose none i am an individual in that case amazon will ask for your full name in the next step it's important to provide your complete name including your first middle uh, if applicable and last name make sure to enter it accurately once you have shared all this information you are almost there just one last thing to do click the agree and continue button to move forward next is enter your personal information so in this step amazon needs a few more details about you they'll ask for some personal information including a form of identification you can choose to provide either your passport number or your driver's license number this is just to ensure your identity and maintain security proceed to the next step you will need to verify your phone number now amazon will send you a verification pin through either a text message or a phone call once you receive the pin simply enter it into the provided field to confirm and verify your phone number remember it's important to double check that all the information you have entered is accurate before moving forward now take a moment to review and make any necessary corrections once you are satisfied click on the next button at the bottom of the screen to continue now next is enter your billing information in this step amazon requires you to provide them with the billing details this includes a valid bank account number and a valid credit card number these details are necessary for smooth financial transactions so make sure you have your bank account number and credit card number handy next is add the information for your products and the amazon store once you have entered and validated your credit card information it's time to provide some key information about your amazon store and the products you plan to sell here's what you will need to answer the name of your amazon store now don't stress too much about this one you can always change it later if you want to just go with the name that represents your brand or products next is upc codes for your products you will be asked if you have upc codes for your products if you are not sure or unaware of what upc codes are don't worry simply click yes for now and amazon will guide you through the process next is diversity certifications now amazon wants to know if you have any uh, diversity certifications for your business this is optional so if you don't have any you can proceed without selecting any option 
manufacturer and or our uh, brand ownership they'll ask if you are the manufacturer and or our brand owner of the products you are planning to sell if you are choose yes or some of them if you click either of these options you'll be asked if you own a government registered trademark for the branded products you want to sell on amazon so once you have provided answers to these questions click the next button to move forward next is identity verification next amazon will ask you to verify your identity you'll be required to upload the images of your identification document such as a driver's license or passport and a bank statement make sure the images are clear and legible once you have uploaded the document simply click on the submit button after submitting your documents the final step is an identity verification via a video call with an amazon associate so this step is necessary to verify the information and documents you provided it's a standard procedure now but don't worry we recommend completing this step as soon as possible so you can start selling your products on amazon Towards the end of your application you might have the option to take the video call if you are unable to do so at that time don't fret you can schedule an appointment for a future date and time that works for you once your identity has been verified congratulations you are officially in as an amazon seller to ensure added security i highly recommend setting up two step verification for your account This will provide an extra layer of protection. Once everything is verified and set up, all you need to do is get started is log into your seller account. And there you have it. Welcome to your seller account home screen. Of course, it might look like a little empty without any sales just yet, but don't worry. With your products and determination, success awaits you on Amazon. Now you might be wondering how much does it cost to sell on Amazon? Well, it depends on several factors such as the selling plan you choose and the types of products you are selling. Let's break it down. First, we have the subscription fees. The selling plan you choose will determine your subscription fee. If you opt for the professional selling plan, you'll pay a flat fee of $39.99 per month with no per item fee. On the other hand, the individual selling plan requires a $0.99 fee for each item sold. Next we have the selling fees. Now this fee is charged for each item sold and includes the referral fee, which is a percentage of the selling price that varies by product category. Additionally, there are variable closing fees that apply only to specific media categories. If you fulfill orders yourself, you will also incur shipping fees. The shipping fees depend on the product category and the shipping service chosen by the customer. Lastly, if you decide to utilize Amazon's FBA program for order fulfillment, there are fees associated with it. These include fulfillment by Amazon fees which uncover Uh, order fulfillment the storage and additional services for items fulfilled by amazon understanding these costs is essential in planning your pricing strategy and calculating your profit margins effectively now let's explore how you can effectively sell your products on amazon well you have two options fba or fpm fulfillment by amazon is when amazon stores uh, your products in their warehouses handles the shipping and provides customer service for those products now these options is a great uh, if you have a high volume high margin product that requires little hands on involvement you can focus on other aspects of your business while amazon handles the storage and shipping for you on the other hand fulfillment by merchant is when you handle your own fulfillment and shipping this is a good option if you want more control over your fulfillment process and want to customize your shipping options If you have a smaller scale small margin product or a one off product FBM may be a better option for you with FBM you are responsible for storing and shipping your products yourself it's important to consider the size and weight of your product when declining which option to choose if your product is large and has a high margin FBA is the way to go 
but if your product is smaller with a smaller margin or if you have a one-off product FBM might be a better choice now that you have discovered how simple it is to breeze through the Amazon seller registration process why wait any longer kickstart your selling journey today don't hesitate to drop a comment below if you have any queries or if you would like to learn more about creating an Amazon seller account or starting an Amazon business. We are here to help at support at sellerapp.com. And that's it for this video everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. We have recently published an in-depth blog on Amazon Seller Central, which you can find in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to SellerApp. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topic. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels where we uh, publish helpful content. And until the next time, happy selling!